can barely carry this. I mean, whoo, big boxes. Oh, 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 okay, don't fall, please. Oh, I needed Grady's help with this. He's outside working though. I'm excited. There's some fun things in here. Good things come in small packages. Or what's the saying? Big things come in small packages. I don't know, but anyways, there's good stuff in here. I'm gonna open this big boy first. I think what's in here is also in the next medium sized box, but let's open them. These are stretcher bars and I got some big ones for big canvases, like bigger than I've ever done. I'm really excited. They're basically all wrapped together, so I'm gonna keep them wrapped together until I'm ready to put them together. I do hate putting canvases together. They're, it's, it's very exerting, energy exerting. I think in the next box, I just have smaller of these, but let's open them. And I have some canvas ordered also. It's not been shipped yet. It comes from like the factory or something and I get really, really big. They're big rolls. Well, let me show you. I'll show you. This is the roll that I have left over. See right there? It goes way and then all the way down. It's a really, really big roll, which is nice because it's cheaper like that to make my own, but it's a doozy to try to work with with canvas that big. It is. And to try to like maximize it, that part of it overwhelms me when I'm trying to like cut it in a way that's, you know, gonna use the whole thing. That's the way I've chosen to go. And I'm quite, quite, quite excited about doing some bigger canvases. Where's Brady when I need them? Ah! Yep, this sounds like smaller ones of those. Yes. So basically you just buy them like this, individual things, and you put them together. Which I'm telling you, if you watch any video, they're like, oh, they just slide together. They do not slide together like that. I end up using, what do I use? Some kind of wax, maybe floor wax or something. I can't remember. I put something on there to make them slipperier because they do not go in well. And then I have this like psh, psh thing to put them together. And then this is what you end up with, like a big thing like this. And then I put the canvas over it. Okay, now let's open best. This is a smaller box, but this is the one that I've been excited about. One of the things about not having a good memory is I don't remember what I ordered, so it's a little bit like Christmas. I'll ask for gifts at Christmas, and then I, by the time Christmas comes, I have no idea what I've asked for, and so it's just like so excited. And that's how this is, because I'm seeing things that I totally forgot that I ordered. Okay, let me show you the restocking supplies first. Ooh, here's a little baby box. So cute. Restocking of just two little oil pastels. I wish this box was in better shape because it was kind of cute. Get my glasses so I can read things for you guys. All right, restocking of my Snellair, however you say that, oil pastel, my expensive ones is what I call it. And this is Noor Black, and this one is Gray Deep. And another restock. My Prismacolor Very Thin Metallic Gold. Those of you guys that have been watching this for a while know that, well, I never did verify if I ordered these, but I felt like when I first got one of these, I did not order it. Somehow it was, it came, because I would never order something that said metallic gold, because that's not my thing. But I ended up loving this. I love the smoothness of it. I also like the color. It's not like in your face gold. It's definitely not what I would call metallic gold, but I really, really, really like it. So it's stocked up because my little golden pencil is getting to be tiny. 
Um, I was going to try to find it to show it to you guys. So now I can just use it up a storm because I've restocked. Okay. I also restocked on something that I thought that I was getting a bigger set of. Not. I restocked on my cheap oil pastels because you can't buy these open stock. So basically open stock means like individual colors that you've used up. The sets are so stinking cheap, but I thought I would get a bigger set and I didn't realize I had 50. So basically I bought the same set. I was hoping for new colors. Oh well. So that was quite the romp romp looking in this box and seeing it's the same size. Oh well. I should have taken time to actually look at my box instead of trusting that I was quite sure <laughs> I was getting a bigger box. Oh well, live and learn. Mm. Let's do this next one. I'm quite excited. I got some charcoal sticks. I really like charcoal, like soft, really black charcoal. I love the like drag and scrapiness. I love sketching with it and I like the blackness. I did find that there's willow and something else that whatever the something else is, is more of a gray and supposedly the willow is really black. Guys, this box has a whole bunch of these in here and it of 12 sticks and it is light as a feather. But what I don't like about charcoal is the obvious thing that it smudges like crazy. But I do have something else in this box that I'm hoping will help with that. Okay, let's see if I can get into this box. It's like busted open. I hope these aren't broken. Oh boy. Okay, the charcoal that I have is in like a pencil form that I really like. And now that I'm looking at this bag and can tell how messy it looks, I'm not real sure why I thought that I was gonna like that because it's gonna be messy. It does look like several of them are already broken. Oh yeah, it, oh man, they're like a crumbly mess. That's a bummer. They're so delicate. So messy. I should have opened this last because it's getting stuff all over me. It's like some really thin pieces. Look how thin that is. And then some chunkier ones. I think I got the medium. I think they had different sizes. A bunch of little pieces are like this too. So that will be fun and I'm hoping what I have in there is going to help with the smudginess. We'll see. Man, this is messy though. Mm. I think this was a nice thought in theory, but in practicalness. Good thing I have my work clothes on. I can just go pet I me mean my, my painting. I like that. Maybe I should find a fun little jar to put these in. I've been searching around the house for something to put these charcoal things in. And because so many of them are broken, I thought maybe I'd use this olive tray thing that I found from the kitchen. I never use it, so maybe I'll use it in here. It's really pretty. It may work perfectly. Let's see. They're so delicate, especially these really thin ones. these little baby shavings I'm just gonna throw away. No need to keep those. But yeah, I think this will work nicely. But for right now, they'll be there and then I can try those out later. And of course, I will show you guys now to go wash these hands.
since I've already mentioned it. I finally bought some fixative spray. And guys, fixative is not very cheap. And I did a bunch of research. The one I decided to get was this one. This was, I think, the most expensive one. So I'm hoping it's good. There's an artist that uses this like on her gouache and other things in her sketchbook because I have a lot of issues, even if I'm using past, uh, not pastel, um, acrylic or like my flash, the pages like on each other and it drives me crazy. I mean, I try to not let it drive me crazy, but like color pencils, everything, they just smush onto one another. So by the time you're done with the sketchbook, the early pages are all kind of mucked up, which kind of bugs me. So I'm hoping that this will fix that. And I'm hoping this is going to fix all my problems. And I'm really hoping it works with wax and oil pastels. That would be a game changer. So what I've been using is not even hairspray. I've been using this, I this like ancient bottle of root booster. I could use some of that right now. And I've been using that, which you know, that's not gonna, that, that just doesn't work too well. Now I also decided to order some fluid matte medium because I've been using this other medium that kind of helps the paint stick to the canvas. If you are painting upright, you need some kind of medium to help it like stick or else it flows too much. So I got some of this. So I'll be testing this also. So tons of fun things here. Hey guys, I am getting two packages today that I'm going to open for you guys in the art supply hall because they are studio supplies and I'm really excited about them. So the first one has already arrived today. I'm still waiting for the second one, but when I get it, I'll open it with you guys but I wanted to show you this packaging because it is so stinking cute. And can we just take note of how big this package is because the mail lady put this, shoved this in my mailbox. It's ginormous. Okay, but look at this. Look at that. What is that, a beaver, a chipmunk? I don't know, but it's so cute. This morning I was like, I did like a happy dance for Grady. I was like, I've got two fun packages coming today. And he was like, well, we got two fun packages yesterday. And I was like, medical supplies and your underwear do not count as fun packages. These are fun packages. So let's open it. He cracks me up. He was like, oh, when I told him that those were not fun. So do you know what these are? Possible new studio garb. I feel like I can justify buying cute painting clothes because I do videos. I feel like I'm gonna be disappointed because I wasn't real sure of the size and this type of garment rarely ever fits me well and they're completely sold out of all the other sizes. So if these don't work, then I'm out of luck. I got some overalls and a jumper. I have a feeling they're going to swallow me whole, but if they're just a little big, then I'm fine with that because I can sew them or just be, you know, they're, it's just studio, so I don't care if they're big. i tell you something that is hard, though, or will be hard, is if they do fit and I really like them to, like, get the first paint, you know, when you do the first, like, smear the paint on your stomach or wipe it on your pants, I'll probably just have to put some paint on there. All right, guys, let's, let's break Everywhere. Oh no, oh no, this is not going good. Okay. Let's break these babies in. That's how you do it. Now we're started. Okay, let's open them. This fabric right here is cuter than what I thought. The picture made it show real light stripes, but these are really dark. Oh, this is gonna be cute. Okay, I'm gonna also tell you why I splurged and purchased these. I have a pair of winter, like paint outside winter overalls, and they have elastic, like right here.
they're such a game changer. One, because they move with you better, but like to use the bathroom and stuff, you just, yeah, it's just a game changer. I have medical devices also, and so like having to take stuff off like that, just to go to the bathroom is sometimes a pain. They are kind of big, I don't know. Yeah, then they swallow me whole. All right, so there's that one. Why I chose to sit on the floor. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Look at that color, orange. I love orange. Okay, this is like a jumper thing. Like. And I never care if the legs are too long because I kind of like just chopping the legs off anyways or rolling them up. This is the one that I'm hoping isn't gonna be too big because you know, you got the armhole thing. The fabric feels a little stiffer and heavier than what I was expecting. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be big, whoops. Well, I'll try it on. I'll give it a go. And you'll know if they work because you'll see me painting in them. I'm going to go try them on because I've been really looking forward to these. I love, okay, I'm loving these overalls. They're super comfy. They're definitely like bigger than what a normal person would probably wear, but I like my overalls to be big. I just, as long as the straps will not fall off, like give me room to move. These are great. The whole thing's stretchy. That orange thing, it was too big, but it was also, I could have sewn it to make it fit and it did feel really good on, but it had like buttons right here and then zip down at the pant part. But it would have taken me like 30 minutes to get on and off to go to the bathroom. I was like, who has time? And they're like little buttons. I was like, who has time for that? Like, that's just not. So I think this is gonna work. They're super comfortable, stretchy, light. I'm gonna cut the bottoms of the pants off a little. And I'll be good to go. I am gonna wear these for a day or two before I like commit and take the tags off or wash them because I do wanna make sure that they move well and stay on. You know, I wanna wear different shirts because if, if that's falling off, that's no fun. My next package came in and let's see, I wanna set the camera up a little different. Hold on. Okay, let's open this next package. And I will show you what's in here that's going to make my life a lot easier for this YouTube channel. Or that's the plan, that's the hope. I'm just now realizing this is probably gonna seem a little anticlimactic or like not, not so interesting because I'm gonna be showing you stuff like this, this, are you guessing it? Are you guessing what's in here? This. Okay, there's all kinds of parts to this thing, but basically this is going to be, along with all these other parts that attach to this, help me be able to film overhead better. That's the gist, that's the hope. I'm going to go play with this and set it up. I'm really happy with it. That's my little haul for today. I hope you enjoyed the non-supplies but studio portion of this art haul. Oh, that was a mouthful.